Hey guys, welcome back to Home Reviews. In this video, we have another solar light, and I actually have some more solar lights I'm going to be reviewing after this one. You would think that's what this channel is all about, but um, it's not. So uh, this is the one we're going to be looking at today, and it's by a company called Sinoton, and it's $24.99. And I'll put the link below this video where you can go there and check it out if you're interested in it. But I have it right here. I want to go ahead and take this thing out of the box and show you what it looks like and what we got. And then we're going to charge this thing up. And then later tonight, I'm going to take the thing outside. And we're going to see how bright it is and how well it works. So let me go ahead and get this thing out of the box and we'll take a look at it. All right, so we got everything out of the box. And this is what we have. I went ahead and took the instructions out also. And it's got a couple of screws here, and um, if you if you want to hook this up on a wall, uh, or even I guess on a brick wall on the side of your house, you can do that. It's got everything here you need, except for a masonry drill bit, unless you have like wooden walls. But you can see here these sides, they open up just like this. And so you can adjust them to angle them a little more. Now if we look at this, you're going to see this thing has... 181 LEDs and it's 1200 lumens so I'm expecting this thing to be pretty bright you got your motion sensor right here and this does have three settings on it and so if we look down here at the guide it's probably on the other side um, you can see here that it has three different settings and what these three settings are is it has one setting that uh, turns it on where it automatically activates at nighttime, but the light stays off unless there's motion. If it senses motion, it turns on high, and then when the motion's gone, it turns off. The second setting is where it's dim all night, and if it detects motion, it kicks on high, and then it kicks back down to dim after the motion. And then the third setting is where it just stays on dim all night long. So it automatically detects when it gets daylight, it automatically detects when it gets dark, and that's when it activates. Now up here you can see the solar panel. It does have a pretty decent sized solar panel, so it should be able to collect a lot of sunlight. Just make sure when you install this, uh, you are installing it in a place where it can collect the most sunlight possible. So if we look at the back side of it, you can see here not only can you angle the sides, uh, left, right, but you can angle this light and the solar panel um, up and down. So you can have a good, where you can place it exactly where you need it where it can hit the sun. And then right here, you have your spots where you're going to slide this down over top of your screws, wherever you have that in. And so this is gonna be, you're just gonna kind of slide it right down on the wall and that's the way it's gonna set. And then you can angle it left to right and up and down. You can see all those LEDs. So we're just going to see how bright this thing is tonight. After, uh, I'm going to let this thing charge for a few hours outside. I think it recommends for about eight hours to charge on the paper here. And you can see all of the, uh, they call them electrical characteristics. So it does have a 2200 mAh battery, which is great. 1200 lumens. The LED lifespan is about 50,000 hours, solar charging time 8 hours, and it goes over the different settings it has there for the light working, auto identified day and night. So uh, it looks pretty good, and I'm going to actually put this up and install it where I park my cars so we can see when we get in and out. It's been snowing a lot lately, so uh, we've been sl slipping and sliding on ice, and I'm hoping this is really going to help with that. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this thing, and then tonight we'll come back and just see how bright this is. Okay, guys, it is nighttime, but it's also in the single digits outside, so I'm going to be finishing this video up inside of my home. And so what I'm going to do is just come over here and set this light on the top of my couch. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down this power button to turn it on. And there it is. And you can see it definitely lights up very well. Let's just turn it around this way. You can see. So it is a, it's pretty bright. Um, what I want to do is I also want to test out the sensor on it. See how well this works and picks it up when you're walking. So with the mode it's on, it should kick off here in just about 15 seconds. And then I'm going to walk back up through here again. 
and we're going to see if it just picks it up very well or not. All right, so it just kicked off, so let's walk up here. And from here, it picked me up, so that's good. The sensor works really well. It's, and I'm even, I'm not even really in front of it that much yet, and it still picked it up, so that's great. And then there's two other settings on it too. So if we hit this button down here again, that is setting number two. And then that is setting number three, where it just stays on dim all the time. So if you guys are interested in this light, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the links where you can get more details about it or even pick it up underneath this video. So you can go there and check them out. And you can also check out the other videos on my channel. I have a lot of different solar lights uh, that you may be interested in. But if you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and have a wonderful day.